Just getting rid of that junky stitching in here. You can kind of see a lot of the mock toes do that over time, especially when these guys are really working in them. This is so easy, you know, a lot of guys can do this from home. Needles and thread, Hobby Lobby, places like Tandy will have this type of thread. I think I got this one at Hobby Lobby, because usually when I get these boots, they're just, you know, stained and beat up, and the once white stitching is cream. Not that most of the blue collar guys mind, but you know, when something comes in the store, I try to do everything to make it look nice going out. Essentially all this is is a saddle stitch. You know, there's some videos on on YouTube how to do that. It's just going in and out. And there's a couple ways to do it, ones with two needles. Once I'm at my desired point and I've retraced through all my threads, I'll put that sealer on the side. Get a double knot there. nice and tight and this works for just about any of your nylon threading on your boots where you can take a lighter and just seal up any loose threads A little dusty right now but you can kind of see where uh, I've done the stitching just this little section here you know it's it's on Red Wings dollar so uh, most of you guys that don't know Red Wing will repair tears like this for free um, when you buy their boots I have no idea what their actual warranty is but they will take care of you so that's it in and out saddle stitch and your mock toe's ready to go. And some of the guys that, you know, don't like the splitting, you know, always run uh, glue with Q-tip. You can buy a contact cement barges from Menards, or you can order off Amazon. Just run it through, give it a good press. And something like that would maybe take an hour to do the pair if you ever want to do it from home. Or you can always request your cobbler to do it.